Tonight on GDS, we're taking you to Goodwill to find the perfect Halloween costume, plus how you can score tickets to Somnium this weekend. Oh, it's a good day, stay Hi and welcome to Good Day State Line. It's Thursday, October 13th. And thanks so much for being here tonight on National M&M's Day, the perfect excuse for some candy. We're getting you ready for Halloween in just a few minutes. We are shopping for costumes at Goodwill. We're talking pumpkins with Rock Valley Credit Union too. And we have a great fall cocktail on the menu for Spirit Day. But before we get to all of that, it's time for Insta Chat. Every night we're breaking down the latest trending Hollywood stories here and inside our Instagram story. Kicking things off tonight with a pretty big reality TV shocker. Blake Shelton announced earlier this week that after his 23rd season of The Voice next year, he's leaving the show. I know your first thought is 23 seasons? <laughs> Remember, that's not 23 years. Actually, 12 years, but still quite a lot of time for Blake, who has been the only coach on the show since day one. He shared a post on social media noting how much the show has changed his life with his lifelong bond with host Carson Daly. And you know, that's where he met his wife, Gwen Stefani, too. Season 23 will kick off in January on NBC with Blake Shelton. Kelly Clarkson is returning, Mel Horn is joining the show, and so is Chance the Rapper. And this is an interesting story for you tonight. Jessica Simpson wrote a very popular autobiography a few years ago called Open Book. It's being turned into a scripted, dramatized series starring John Stamos. The show will be on Amazon. It's being categorized as a comedy, which I think is kind of strange if you read the book like I did. Uh, plus, the book has like a lot of negative things to say about John Mayer, who is friends with John Stamos. I'm definitely going to be watching this. We'll let you know when it is set to debut. And some big news for Kaylee Cuoco and her boyfriend, Tom Pelfrey. They're expecting a baby girl. Kaylee shared photos, including a pink Frosted Cake in on Instagram with us as she made the announcement, adding Beyond Blessed and Over the Moon. Congratulations, of course, to the two of them. We've always got more Insta Chat for you inside our Instagram story at Good Day State Line, including Ariana Grande's latest photo drop from behind the scenes of the movie Wicked. Just make sure you're following us to check it out. We'll be right back with Anna from Rock Valley Credit Union after a look at what's happening tomorrow night on Overtime. A thrilling Nick 10 race will continue to play out this weekend with two more big games. Yeah, one of them is going to happen in Boylan in our overtime game of the week. The Titans will host Guilford. Both teams are 6-1, and one, one game behind conference leader Belvedere North. The Titans have been dominating teams since losing to Belvedere North in week three. And Guilford is also on a four-game winning streak. The Vikings looked very strong last Saturday in a 47-6 win over East. Guilford hasn't won a Nick 10 championship since 2013. The other big game in the Nick 10 Friday night has Belvedere North playing at Harlem. The Blue Thunder are 7-0 for the first time in school history, and they're coming off another big win last week against Hanamiga. If they win this game, the Blue Thunder will clinch at least a share of the Nick 10 championship. Belvedere North has only been a conference champion in football once before. That was in 2014. Harlem is coming off a loss to Boylan. The Huskies have fallen out of the conference championship race with a record of 4-3. Stillman Valley will have a chance to wrap up at least a share of the Big Northern Conference Championship Friday. That's right. The Cardinals are going to be in Rockford to take on the Lutheran Crusaders. The Cardinals are 7-0, one game ahead of the Byron Tigers with two games remaining, including this one at Lutheran. And the Cardinals coming off a 28-14 win over Winnebago last week. This is also a big game for Lutheran. The Crusaders are sitting on four wins. They need one more to become eligible for the playoffs. For highlights and scores, be sure to join us on Overtime. That's live Friday night at 11 o'clock on Fox 39. We'll see you then.